Good afternoon. We all often think that repeatedly performing a task often leads to high and positive results. But how often do we glare into them and understand if the task performed is actually worthy? Today, the topic of conversation is whether the system is pushing students to become repeaters in the NEET exam. To answer the same and to glean insights on the same, we have an expert of NEET counselling sitting here with us, Mr. Sujit Jha, who is the Director of Learning and Development at Hello Mentor, India's number one NEET counselling services. So, good afternoon. Thank you. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you for inviting me to this programme. So, we are glad to have you here. Hope your day is going well. Oh, great, great. And moving on to the topic of questions, sir. Why do you think and what do you think are the factors that are leading to students and parents alike? to push themselves into reappearing and being a repeater for the NEET exam? Uh, there's nothing wrong with being a NEET repeater, first of all. So, yeah. if you feel that second time, second attempt you are able to achieve your goal of becoming a doctor, is very good to repeat. Right. How much is too much and how much, how less is too less, that we got to take a call on that. In this, I think point number one, which I want to raise is there is no age bar on the people who can appear for NEET. And that's a very bad decision. Okay, it was taken by NMC in 2022. Okay. When we struggled with COVID, we got into crisis, so we felt more and more doctors we need. So age bar was removed. Otherwise, till before 2022, we had an age bar of 25 years of age or 30 years in the case of scheduled caste, scheduled tribe, and uh, OBC others. Understood. So there is no age bar now. Now you have seen this year, out of the total qualified people in Karnataka, there are 23 people who are above 32 years. There is one guy who is my age, 1973 born, he has also cracked meat. In Tamil Nadu, oh that is glorious, 68 year old guy, 67 year old guy, 60 year old guy, these three people have also cracked meat. Now, because of the no age. No age like bar. So what is happening now, they will claim one seat and every seat that they will claim that will go from a 17 year old child. Right. Okay, who is competing for the competition. So you have increased the competition for them by having no age bar. Okay, is it a smart idea to do it? No. Reason, you see, these people who have cleared, suppose 68 year old guy in Tamil Nadu, he is from government school. 77.5% seats are reserved in Tamil Nadu for the students who have studied from government school at no zero fees. So that, that kind of seat is available to that person. He has taken that seat from a guy who is 70 year old and when he will complete his MBBS, suppose he becomes 74, 75 years old. How many years he is left with to contribute to the medical uh, field of the country? Correct. That also has to be thought. With due respect to those people who cracked the NEET exam after a certain age, I really congratulate them, I really appreciate But we have to think about it practically. And this will increase the competition for the student, they will go for the repeater batch again and again, they will keep writing the exam. So in terms of practicality, it does not make much more sense for a person who has just completed MBBS at the age of 72, but has claimed a seat which No, for him it makes a sense. For him, it but does. For but for all of us as an ecosystem, but as the larger team. picture, yes. the system won't be contributing doctors that can serve longer if the Correct. person in question takes a seat of a 17 year old person who has cleared me. That actually is a big pain point, sir. And apart from this, the age factor, the no age limit rule, Yeah. do you think what other caveats exist that form such high number of repeaters in okay. our country, sir, for the NEET exam? Mm -hmm. I think one of the reasons which I would like to talk about is the number of attempts. There is no capping There's on the no number of attempts. How many attempts right? can you write NEET exam? You can go on limited bus, one, two, three. Can you take uh, 50 attempts? The answer is yes. Okay. Though it's hypothetical, but please understand it. See, in IIT, JE, you can write the exam for three years. Reason? There, there is no capping on the attempts or the age limit there also. But you are, if you are writing the exam in 2025, IIT, JE, you must have completed your 12th either in 2024 or 2023 okay. or pursuing it in 2025. So you can't take this attempt more than three times. But in NEET it does not happen this way. Suppose a child, imagine you are 17 year old, you are writing the NEET exam in 2025. Can there be a guy who wrote the exam in 2024 also competing with you? Can there be a guy from 2023, 2022, 2021 Obviously. and 2020 as well? If you are competing with those people boss, you have just done your PUC 12th. Two years you prepared for need and the other guy has prepared for six years. Now it is not a level playing field for both the people. Not at all. And then what will happen? I will not crack it this year. There's a big chance. So I will go for a repeater. If you see the data in Karnataka, in last two years, the repeaters number have almost doubled. Wow. In 2023, it was 28,000 people who were repeater. 
in 2024 it became 53000 so every okay? second child so almost, almost it is so almost doubled child. It's almost double, 1.5 lakhs approximately appear for yes. the Karnataka state. Last year in 2025 it is 1.47 registered, 1.42 wrote the exam okay. and 83,582 people cleared the exam. For it. So in 1.4, you are having 53,000 people who are repeaters batch. Now is it going to decrease? The answer is absolutely no. Reason? You are having so many years people competing together that in my 12th, I don't have a chance, I'll go for a repeater match. Because the rules if they themselves allow you to appear for it, why won't I take And adding chance? unnecessary stress to the students. So I do, I'm not uh, I'm not in favor of this capping being done. I think government will come definitely with these two things, uh, age limit and the number of uh, attempts that person can take. Okay, but I think it will take a little time. For the parents and students, uh, however, how do you think that they should apply this advice that you're providing into their counselling and admission journey? Okay, I think uh, parents and parents themselves are very wise, just like me. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, yeah, students course. are very smart of today's era. So they also take a lot of decisions. Sometimes I've met many parents and students where I found students are smarter than the parents in taking a decision. They tell boss, I will not be able to take more than this and I don't want to see physics ever in my life. Mm. So let me go for dentistry. Let me take this course or let me change the course plan. Let me go to engineering. Okay. You cannot be going that number of tents are unlimited. So you go, you know, Isala Kap Namdu, Isala Kap Namdu. <laughs> 18 years. Can you wait for your child to become, to win the RCB championship for 18 years? Isala Kap Namdu, Aitu, Atara, Valle. Okay. Adu Santosha. But can you keep waiting like this? The answer is no. And that's why the parents and students should decide what is their number of attempts that they will take and they should fix it. That I will take these two, three attempts and thereafter I am not going for it. The number of every student, the number for every student is different and it is typically tailored to what they want. So you can have different backups. You can put a personal cap on the number of attempts that yes, you need yes, to give. Yes. Because practically speaking, the road to becoming a doctor, a good one at that, is a very long one. So you have to also take into consideration the number of years you will be actually preparing your course and studying for it. Let alone only MBBS but also PG as well. So it's like see, it may look a little funny example but I think it is giving a meaningful understanding to this. Yes. That I am, suppose I am uh, telling a girl, a girl and boy are looking to get married. Hmm. And the girl is telling me wait, 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 wait. And will I wait for her so still 75 years? The answer is no. So I'll wait for a certain time and thereafter I'll get married, otherwise I'll die as a bachelor. So point I'm trying to tell in NEET also you give me number of attempts. If I do it, congrats. If I don't do it, either I change my course or take some other light courses, but I don't wait for it endlessly. So age, age bar need to be there, uh, number of attempts need to be there and parents and students should take a decision on this that how many times they are going to go for it before NTA comes with this. Call. So having a sound plan of your options and having clarity on their options is very important for parents and students when it comes yes. to deciding whether or not to make their word repeat need. If you want more such clarity and want to turn your confusion into points of confidence, follow our YouTube channel and all our social media handles for latest insights, authenticated data and trends that you won't find anywhere. You can visit our website hellomentor.in for more such data, insights and trends. So thank, thank you. you so much thank for joining you. us today. We'll see you in the next episode. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.